Greetings YouTube, my name is Sporknator, welcome to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. If you have never played this game before, you probably should. It's amazing, at least it was, for its time. I know it's an old game, everybody and their mother has played it. Yeah, but that's not stopping me. I'm gonna play this game anyway and put it on YouTube. So here we go, folks. This is it. The beginning. I don't know what else to say. Like, the title screen here is pretty neat, though. If you wait long enough, it'll actually give you what is borderline spoiler, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit start. So, first things first. I cannot stand switch Z targeting. I like hold. That way when I release the key, I stop targeting. It is so much more convenient that way. Well, it is time to begin a new file. There's only room for eight letters, so Sporkinator will not fit. I may just have to shorten my name to Spork for this one. So yeah, we'll do that. And I am playing on an emulator, Project 64. I've got, like, a video plug-in. It's a little bit buggy. For the most part, it renders the game pretty accurately, except it clips polygons too close for the... Uh, too close to the camera, so there are certain parts where the camera clips through polygons and it's not supposed to, especially during a certain cutscene, and I guess I'll mention that whenever it comes up. But the opening cinematic to this game is really long, so let's get that over with. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the Guardian Spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. Now, I don't promise to read all dialogue in this game, but for now I'm going to read these. Anyway... The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Um, that guy seems like he's in a bad mood. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kikiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But, before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it, yeah, the youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now, find our young friend, and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the entire world, 
depends upon thee. Yes, I inserted the word entire. Get over it. Well, folks, welcome to Kokiri Forest. Hello. Hi. Yep. Whoa, dude. Go do that somewhere else, please. Oh, wait, he's trying to pick up the rock. Never mind. Carry on. Navi, are you lost? Oh, that... Ow. That did not look too pleasant. Yeah. Hello, Spork. Wake up. The Great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Spork, get up! I don't know how good at voice acting I am. I don't know if I'm going to keep this up. Anyhow. Hey. Is that me? Get up, me! Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Dude, just get up. Come on. Time to go. You finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you. So let's get going right now. Yeah, I don't know if I'll do character voices or not. Oh yeah, the up seat, the up uh, button changes your view when you're in certain rooms, but otherwise it normally just has you going to like first person view. Anyway, I'll explain it later. Yeah, this is Kokiri Forest. She's gonna say Yahoo! Hi, Spork. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I think I was watching a video of a mod where someone changed Yahoo to Google. <laughs> that was pretty funny. ROM hacks and stuff. The fastest way to get down is to just do a backflip. How do you do a backflip? I don't feel like explaining it. If you play the game, you'll figure it out. Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, Spork! Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Blah, 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 blah. True, tr true Kokiri. Blah, blah, blah. Isn't that right? Great Deku Tree summoned you. Blah, blah, blah. It's quite an honor. Blah, blah, blah. Deku Tree talk. Blah, blah. I'll wait for you here. Blah, blah. Get going. Blah, 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 blah. Deku Tree. Go see him. Okay, folks. Well, it's already been seven minutes. That's how long the intro was on this one. More or less. The Great Deku Tree is actually this way. Now, if this jerk would just get out of my way, that would be terrific. Fine, what do you want? Hey, you! Mr. No Fairy! What's with your... What's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man! What? You've got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Mido? This isn't funny. I don't believe it! You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to get to help the Great Deku Tree without a both a sword and a shield ready? What? You're right, I don't have my equipment either. But if you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Sheesh. Oh, by the way, I never want to watch that opening cutscene again. So the first thing I'm going to do is save. <laughs> That's right. Because then if I load my game back up, I'll at least be up in my uh, house or whatever. What do you want, Navi? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you. Please, come with me. You shut your mouth! Mido won't let me through. So, we need to get a sword and a shield. I believe it's easier if we get the sword first, so we'll do that. We have to buy the shield, and we're going to need uh, 40 rupees. Yes, these are rupees, the currency used in the game. Come on, I know there's another one here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. We've got two of them so far, and we need 40. Gosh, this seems like a daunting task. Worry not, I'll be able to collect them faster once I have a sword. And there's a few, there's like blue ones that give you five. 
The green ones only give you one, so we collect a few blue rupees, probably have 40 rupees in no time. He was 40 divided by 5, that's like... I can't math right now, it's kind of late. Well, 5 times 5 is 25, and if we double that to 50, that's 10 times 5. And then we subtract 2, 8. We need like 8 blue rupees to get 40 rupees, but we've already got 7 rupees. So we're doing pretty good. Blah blah blah, this tells you how to play. I don't feel like reading all that. Are you kidding me? That would be so boring, me reading that. Ah, here we go. There's a blue rupee right there. Worth five. Well, fourteen. That's not bad. And... Let's read the sign just for fun. Oh, sign is disappointing. Anyway, open the chest. And let's get our very first... Uh, item, I guess. Yeah. The Kokiri Sword! On the equipment subscreen, select it, blah, 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 equip it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. This is a hidden treasure, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice before you fight. Well, before you really fight. Very well, let us equip the sword. Now we can cut grass! Hooray! Link the human lawnmower. Or Kokiri lawnmower. Kokiri's a human's, right? I don't know. Ow. I didn't even take damage. Apparently rolling actually makes you invincible, like, for a split second or a certain part. I didn't even take damage from that, because I was rolling. Normally I would lose, like, a quarter of a heart. So it's been about ten minutes. I'm considering ending the video soon. But, you know, we might as well get the shield first. Then we'll be ready to start the, uh, well, to go help the Great Deku Tree. That's right. So anyway, you can target this rock here, do a backflip, get five rupees. We're already halfway to our goal of 40. Why do we need 40? How do I know this? I've played this game tons of times. It's quite sad, really. I thought I would get rupees from backflipping here, no? Well, I got one. That's not bad. If I spin the control stick around and then hit the B button, I can do a spin attack. Of course, we'll hold down B, spin. Kind of useful, maybe. 26 rupees, 27, 28. I know where we can find more. There's a rock here. Sometimes. No. Not this time. Sometimes they drop rupees. Where am I even? I'm not where I thought I was. Oh, there's the shop where we can buy the shield. But we still need some more rupees. No, I don't want to talk to you. Fine, you can target stuff. And talk. Yes, yes, that's how you use a fairy. It's so great, blah, blah, blah. Have a fairy, blah, blah, blah. I'll teach you, blah, blah, blah. How to talk to... Oh, gosh. Too long, didn't read. Yeah, the too long, didn't read version is... Target people, press the A button to talk. It really didn't need to elaborate. We now have over 40 rupees. See, that didn't take too long. 12 minutes in, and we've... We've basically already got our sword and shield. I just need to buy it. Oh, and if you come behind here... Five more rupees hidden behind there that you can't even see. There's just... There's no way you can't even change the view. So that's a cool secret that everyone knows about already. Well, everyone who plays the game. I don't know what she said, nor do I care. Welcome. It's probably just tutorial crap anyway. Anyway... I got a shield! Awesome. This text is so long and I can't skip it. No, I don't want to buy anything else, you rip-off shop. You charge me 40 rupees for a crappy wooden shield, whatever. Let's get going. Ooh, what's this? You see a small mound of soft soil here. Cool story, bro. Jerk! Alright, I have to equip sword and shield. I got a shield! I got a shield! Let me through! Jerk! If you want to see the great Deku tree, you should at least equip a sword and a shield! Hey, what's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief! Well, even with all that stuff, 
A wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot! How did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the great Deku Tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. <laughs> grumble, grumble. That part makes me laugh, because he's probably not actually saying it, but I read it anyway. Oh, I, I just, yeah. The chuckled every time. Oh, what's this? Oh, lucky. I got a stick! Really, Link? Really? Yeah, by the way, the main character's name is Link, not Zelda. His name is Link, except I named him Spork, so his name is Spork. But normally his name's Link, so yeah, that's a thing in the series. I got another stick. I got another stick. Let's put my sword away for safety. I don't know why. Great Deku Tree, I'm back. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Spork, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Great Deku Dream, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, the vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily thou hast felt it. Spork, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse. With your wisdom and courage, sword and shield, dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? No! Yes. Then enter, brave Sporkinator, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy. Thou must aid Spork. Still not sure what voice I want for this character. And Spork, when Navi speaks, use blah 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 to listen well to her words of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Words of wisdom. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. If you don't understand, you will later. Well, folks, thank you for watching. In the next episode, we begin the first dungeon of the game, The Great Deku Tree. My name is Sporknator, and I will see you next time. Feel free to dislike, unsubscribe, and of course, leave me an angry comment.